Once you have your titration solution ready, it's now time to start doing the titration. Remember on the board we explained how to do it. We're basically going to take a known amount of base solution. This is our 0.1% base solution. And I'm going to pour some of this out into a little cup. It's important that you never draw with a syringe from this because you can contaminate this. It's always why I put a little bit in a little cup. Seal it right back up. And that way I have a vessel for doing it. Now, I also have isopropyl alcohol. This is 91%. I'm going to put it in a vessel as well so that I don't contaminate it either. To do a titration, you have a sample of known of oil that you don't know the acidity of, and you're going to get a syringe. You're going to suck up one milliliter of oil. These have milliliter markings on the side. These are kind of a handy little set of uh, syringes. They actually say oil, alcohol, and titration solution. If you'd like these, I carry them on my side as well at Utah Bio, but any syringe will do. I just like it because I, I don't mess up my syringes. So I'm going to suck up a milliliter of oil. I usually go over and then I come back down. So I'm going to move it. I've got a bubble on the top I want to get rid of. I'm going to squirt down. till I get to a milliliter of oil. So I've got a milliliter of oil there. Okay. Before I put that in my solution here, I'm going to put 10 milliliters of isopropyl alcohol in here. Now these actually have handy measurements on the side so I can actually do it that way, but if you don't, you can suck up 10 milliliters with a syringe and again, get rid of your bubble. This is somewhat of a messy process, so you want to wear gloves. You'll notice I've got a little bit of oil and stuff around, and it's there's just no clean way to do biodiesel. I've yet to meet anyone that has. Buy some kitty litter if you want to make sure things are clean or some oil dry. So, Okay, so I'm going to put 10 milliliters of isopropyl alcohol into my jar here. And I'm going to spray a milliliter of oil into this mixture. I'll let the camera kind of get up and take a look at that real close. You'll notice that it's not really well mixed. And that's because oil and alcohol don't like each other. So we're going to have to mix this up here. So I'll stir this here for a second. If you'd like, you can heat the mixture a little bit. Um, you don't want to heat it too much because you don't want to boil off your alcohol. But I've, I've heard of some people heating the oil in a microwave in a little tiny dish before they use it. But our goal is just to basically get it to be all one solution, as you can see here. Okay. To this mixture, we're now going to add about three or four drops of our phenolphthalein. Again, this is just a pH indicator. It does nothing more than that. It's not real important how many drops you need to put in here, because all this is doing is just indicating pH. Okay, so I'm going to mix all this up. Now what I'm going to do is very slowly, I'm going to suck up some titration solution. I've got 10 milliliters of titration solution in this syringe. And using a little stir, I'm just going to start stirring this in. So I started with 10. Basically, just looking for this to change color. I don't know if you can see that real well, but let me see if I can get it closer here. As I put this in, it's literally starting to change color drop by drop. You see that pink that's occurring? Let's see if I can do it a different way here. That pink is my indicator solution. What's going on is I've got a basic solution, I've got an known, unknown amount of acid and it's starting to neutralize that acid and taking the pH up over. How you know when you're done is when that turns pink and stays pink for about 30 seconds. And there we're starting to come into it. There we're a nice pink. 
just a little bit more to be sure. And then we'll sit and let that go for about 30 seconds. After 30 seconds, if it's still that color, then we're going to write that number down. I'm going to let this sit here while we look at our math. We started with 10 milliliters, and we're now at 7. So 8, 9, 10, that's 3. So it took 3 milliliters of our titration solution to neutralize this acid in our oil. You'll notice we're staying this nice, beautiful pink, which is what we're after there. So, A lot of times when you do a titration, it's important to do it about three times to make sure that you've done it right. And so we're going to do it, I'm going to show you how to do it again one more time. Because we kind of slopped around and made a little bit of a mess. You just want to make sure you always redo it and double check your math. If after three times your numbers are plus or minus one, that's your number. Average amount, and that's, that's going to be your titration number. So we'll go ahead and pause here for a moment, and we'll do another one, get, get set up. Okay, we've done our first titration, and we got three, so we're going to do another one. Again, one milliliter of oil. So I've got one milliliter of oil. Set that here. I'm going to put 10 milliliters of alcohol. Get my bubble out of the way. Ten milliliters of isopropyl alcohol into a container. One milliliter of oil. A couple drops of my titrating solution. Again, this is phenolphthalein, phenol red, or turmeric will work just fine. It's also doesn't matter how much of this I put in because it's just an indicator solution. Then I'm going to mix this up. So I get a really consistent uniform batch of oil and alcohol and the titration and the indicator solution. And then using my titration solution, again, my known amount of base, unknown amount of acid, in we go. I'm going to move these out of the way so we can get a little better view here. And slowly, I'm just going to start adding known amounts of base. I started at 10. Swirl around. We've already started to turn a little bit pink, which is what we want. There's some pink. Went back to yellow, so we still need to go a little bit more. Swirl around. Oh, it's getting there. Notice it's staying this good, nice pink color. Just a little bit more, just to keep it there. So I've got that beautiful pink color. Phenol red turns a sort of a, a reddish color. Turmeric turns a kind of a pinkish color. This is phenolphthalein. You can see that it's somewhat of a pink color, but your goal is just to hit that color and make it stay for about 30 seconds. And, and again, what that means is I've had an unknown amount of acid in that oil, a known amount of base, we add to it until we knock that pH till we've neutralized it. This took, this is sitting at six this time, so we're really close. We'll do one more and then we'll average everything together and then we'll show you how much you're going to need to make a batch. Okay, we'll do one third and final titration. Again, we're going to do 10 milliliters of alcohol. drops of indicator solution. One milliliter of oil. Put it in. Mix it up. And then we're going to slowly start adding our titration solution. We're going to watch for the color change. around, it's starting to turn, it's getting there, and we changed. I'm at six. So I know, I'm gonna add just a little bit more, make sure I kick it there. 
So my first one was seven, second one was six, second one, third one's about six and well, a quarter. So I'm going to say this, I'm going to call this about six grams or six milliliters extra. And so what our titration would be or how much we would add to, to our biodiesel that we make, we're going to take 7.5 plus, uh, what did we got, three and a half, four actually, because six from ten is four. So about four and a half, so seven, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So about twelve grams we will add per liter of oil. So if we had a hundred liters of oil, we would add twelve hundred grams of catalyst to that into our methanol to make biodiesel. And that's how you do a titration.